trying to go natural. Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Welcome to the singular video of the year. Should I say duplicate this year? Because I'm gonna do a Black Friday haul part one and part two this year. Not because I got too much stuff, I hope. <laughs> you never know until you get it all. But because of that whole USPS delay fiasco, I decided to just go on with what I have because I do have some great stuff. And I'm pretty sure I can get excited about these as well. Summary, I got Inasi, I got Curls Dynasty, I got Main Crush, I got Curls and Potions, and of course I got Honey's Handmade. Everything I bought was like 40 to 50% off. So anything you're thinking about getting, you can probably catch next year 40 to 50% off. I think Honey's Handmade may have been more than that off. All right, so let's get started. So first of all, I got Main Crush. I was really happy to get it. Just because I like to support businesses I haven't tried before and I didn't really see any this year where the products, the ingredients, the prices and everything were just right. So I was super excited when Main Crush came out to be that person for me and to have just a great sale. And similarly for Kills Dynasty, so I did have my eye on them before Black Friday but they definitely had the sale and made it worth it and made it possible for me to get it. And then Inasi, Kills and Potions, Honey's Handmade are restocks and of course Kill Origin and she sent it a restocks or new stocks because it's like different products but brands that I've tried before <laughs> okay so let's get started again my crush woo, okay I got this curly shampoo shampoo you guys know I've been kind of team shampoo for the last year I finally figured out how to get it really working with the shampoo and the oil has been working super great for me so of course what attracted me to pretty much everything here is the ingredients I'll show you these ingredients So, the goat milk had me curious, the Aretha, bring on some Ayurveda, and then like the Rasul clay, okay I could always do the little clay treatment, peppermint, I like peppermint on my scalp, so everything was just talking to me, so I'm not sure how much of a cleanser it will be, but the clay makes me sure it's going to be at least co-wash level. Excited to try this, especially like doing this and then going into a wash and go I'm kind of excited to see where that will take me the Cosmocolaton deep conditioner the nails are kind of cute I do see the green tea, I do see the chebe I do see the methy I'm liking the ingredients of this brand these are the ingredients so we'll see what it does like I'm expecting good things I'm a little bit nervous I'm hoping, I'm thinking it will get us through and we'll see next I have the crisis control leave-in which is great because you know me <laughs> Half of my wash days these days, if trying out new products, I'm having a crisis and this can control it. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, that would be great because sometimes your deep conditioner just goes south and you really need a leave-in to take you back. So yeah, the name is soothing me right now. So again, the chair bay, this time it has Irish moss, which is like, yeah, hello slip, marshmallow root, yeah, hello slip. The hibiscus, the fenugreek, the neem, I like the Ayurveda in this brand. Excited to be trying it out. <laughs> so look out for this wash day. I'm getting high, I'm getting high. Finishing off the main crush with Kiltini. I like the name of this. <laughs> Not like I'm a big drinker or anything, but I like the idea, I like the concept. I like to think I can hang, and this makes me feel like I'm hanging, so I like it. It just looks like a kind of basic light hole gel, so we'll see where it takes me again. It has the aloe vera gel, it has the flaxseed gel, so I'm thinking we're gonna be at least somewhat safe just with that flaxseed gel there. And I love that it has marshmallow root and slippery elm as well. I do like her formulations for the most part. Medium foam hole, I like, I like. So next we have the Curls Dynasty, and this is one I have been looking at kind of throughout the year. But I was like, don't pay full price for Fabulous Girl, wait for Black Friday. And they bought the sale, everything worked out happily ever after. Yay! So the shampoo just looks so interesting. Again, team shampoo this year. The shampoo looks super interesting. Cocoa Mint Moisture Rich Shampoo. So you want to bring me cocoa and mint in a shampoo? Yes. Okay. Yes. So it has like aloe vera juice, star fruit extract. Okay. Okay. I wonder if it's the Caribbean. And then it has like some other fruit extracts. Pineapple fruit, pomegranate seed extract, guava, like what in a shampoo and then it has like all these oils and stuff so i'm hoping at least maybe one of the oils is saponified but i don't see any like cocoa betaine or sulfate so if something tells us to be too mild too mild is a fit as we say in trinidad <laughs> too big is a fit 
too mild as a fit when it comes to shampoos. The ingredients just look super cool. So it's almost like she sent it, but then not, you know what I mean? Like, remember she sent it at Juicy Curl, so it's like a Juicy Curl, but we have the peppermint. Very interesting. So I'm super excited to try this. This is like one of the main reasons I actually got the brand. I have the pumpkin mint deep treatment and I like that she keeps the mint going. Because I do like a good mint wash day. Nothing wrong with a mint wash day. My scalp is super happy about it. So this one does actually have some hydrolyzed protein. But it also has like lots of like moisturizing ingredients as well. Some cinnamon bath, nutmeg. And I like to throw in like when I'm making my classic gel. I like to throw in all kind of thing. I like to throw in. I'm in my Caribbean right now, I don't know why, but yeah, just bear with me. But I like to train my little nutmeg and my little cinnamon and all kind of things, so I'm glad to see like I'm not the only one doing that. And I'll be interested to see the scent of this because I was thinking when I do finally decide to sell my gel, is that going to be like too much scent wise if I'm throwing in like cinnamon and nutmeg and stuff. So I'm curious to see the scent of this and if those things are masked or not. And then I have the Give Me Slip Conditioner. <laughs> I do love the name, Give Me Slip, yes, because y'all know my favorite word. What's my favorite words? Give me more slip, could have had more slip. So I'm super excited just by the name of this is making me happy. Yeah, I did watch that E42 short versus. <laughs> y'all know I have to be a little bit because I was living out there for a few years. So I'm like, what's my favorite word? Why they gotta say a like shirt? Everything, it was like super fabulous, but that's beside the point. <laughs> okay, so, y'all know I don't have much room for rinse out conditioners in my life, but whenever it looks super interesting or like I really just am curious, I usually just get it. And if anything, I would use it either as a co-wash or midweek kind of condition, or use it as a leave-in. I'm liking that she likes fruit extracts. I like that you like fruit extracts, boo. Me and you can be friends. I hope I love this line. This line is looking good, so I'm super excited. So if anybody has tried any of these things, definitely let me know, because y'all can tell I'm hyped. I'm super hyped, like I want to try everything right now, basically. That's how I feel like if I could just put it all in my hair and just have like this, this fabulous wash day that just, like all the happiness of all the wash days in one, like that would be amazing. I'm such a PJ. This is the one day when I can be a proud PJ, okay? This is the one day when us PJs celebrate. So forgive me. Ease me up. Ease me up. Ease me up. <laughs> okay. Then I have the actual leave in Kalahari. Interesting name. I do like the branding and stuff. You know how I like cute packaging? I'm really feeling the gold on these. It kind of making me feel posh. Kind of similar ingredients to everything else and I'm excited to try it. I do see hydrolyzed silk protein which is a moisturizing protein, not a strengthening one. So then we have the Twisted Definition Twisting Cream. I did like it, it had ginger extract in there. Again, great ingredients. Then I have the Vanilla Cream Custard which is a curly fining cream. So basically I have two creams. I'm kind of upset because when I saw custard, I was hoping it was a gel, but it's my own fault, I guess, for not reading the fine print. Another Black Friday concern, you have to kind of read the fine print, but it does say it's like a stronghold curly finer. So I'm not exactly sure where it's going and if it's going to be more custard than cream, cream than custard. There's a lot of wax in here as well as carbomel. So we'll see, we'll see. It's interesting that it has all these wax and stuff on a mild shampoo, but I don't stick to one line. If you're the person that sticks to one line and you're using stuff with wax and using a mild shampoo, definitely clarify every now and again because I don't think that shampoo can get this stuff out. I'm just saying. But then we have Inasi Naturals, which is mostly just restocks, but I did pick up their clarifying shampoo. Like I said, I was curious. I want to know if there's such a thing as a clarifying shampoo that doesn't leave you just, your hair just dying, just stripped and crying for life. So I want to try this just because I love the moisturizing or gentle shampoo. I want to see what this can do for me. Soothing Men Sulfate Free Clarifying Shampoo. And these are the ingredients. So it does have some aloe vera juice and essential oils. Will that be enough to make it not completely stripping? We'll see. And other than that, I have like restocks. The Soothing Mint Sulfate Free Gentle Cleansing Shampoo, which you guys know I love and is one of my HD shampoos. And the Aloe Hibiscus Leave-In, which you guys know I love and is one of my HG leave-ins. So two HGs restocking. These are the ingredients of the shampoo. And these are the ingredients of the leave-in. 
comparing the ingredients of both shampoos. They are pretty similar. Clearly it's like similar formulations but it just tweaked it to make this one a little stronger. This one seems to have more aloe vera juice and this one seems to have more different types of surfactants. This one has a stronger surfactant which is the olefin sulfonate. This one has aloe vera juice higher up. So I'm expecting and it's kind of hopefully at least still kind of good. Kind of moisturizing, but clarify, we'll see. I mean, I don't really have to talk about this, right? You guys know I love this. I've been loving it and talking about it a lot lately. Just light, moisturizing, defining, lots of slip, everything you need. Hyaluronic acid if you please. And everything you need in a leave-in, basically. So next we come to kill some potions. I did have another oopsie here in that I bought two of the rice waters. Definitely be careful when you're buying. Because what happens to me sometimes is I click add to card and I'm not sure if I didn't, I click it again. And it's just listed once, but the number is two. And you're like, oh my god, if I don't click buy right now, somebody else is going to take my whole order. Like that kind of Black Friday mania and hysteria. But you have to kind of do a final look through in your cart and just be a little careful. So you don't end up like me, because I'm not even sure if I like rice water at all, so to have two is a little bit daunting. But I'm going to try one like real soon and then leave this for like months later. Because I think my issue with rice water was I was using it too often. Wish me luck on this and if you've used these let me know. But I am interested in trying this bamboo and rice water hair gloss from Kills and Potions. And I do like her ingredients as well. And basically we'll see what I notice if I notice any difference and stuff like that. Kills and Potions for me, what interests me, they have a lot of rice water, they have a lot of chibi, bamboo, and Ayurvedic things as well. So just a lot of good stuff for your hair. If you're looking for power packed ingredients in a brand, Botanicals is definitely on that list, Baskin Bloom is on that list, but I feel like Kills and Potions, just everything is just has a everything is packing basically. I got this bamboo and rice water growth and restorative shampoo. You guys know I'm gonna be trying a lot of shampoos when there's new shampoos to be tried. Basically, a great shampoo with a lot of Ayurvedic ingredients as well as the bamboo and rice water. So I haven't tried any of this yet, but that's what I'm expecting. My previous experience with Kills and Potions is a pretty good brand, so I'm not expected to be disappointed with any of this. Her stuff is really well formulated and tends to work as described. I've never been in a situation where you're like, oh my god, I can't even finish doing what I'm doing because I'm using Kills and Potions. Can't say that about every brand, <laughs> unfortunately. So that's praise, big ups to Kills and Potions for that. Then we have the Chibi Cleansing Wash. Which again is interesting. It says gentle cleansing clay wash, so I'm expecting it to feel more co-washy on my hair. It's packed with pretty much similar ingredients to the shampoo, just like lots of good stuff basically. There's deca cocoside in there, so it might even make it up to shampoo levels. It has some apple cider vinegar, which I like to see in anything with clay. Not necessarily apple cider vinegar, but honey, hibiscus, something balancing in terms of pH. So it does seem like a well-formulated product. I'm pretty good in the shampoo department for next year, clearly, as you can see. We can't just talk about shampoos. We need a little bit of moisture in our lives. So in comes this deep moisture potion, plum and pumpkin seed oil. So it has like the flax seed and aloe vera and honey and stuff for moisture and it has the rice water. Then there's the Chibi hydration mask, so some Chibi and mint collection. So this also looks interesting to me. So it has the sugar, I give nectar for moisture, has the Chibi marshmallow root, coconut milk, just lots of great ingredients. I feel like those portions are slept on because I mean these all these ingredients just power pack. You can be buying this and making your hair fabulous or you can be buying something that's not this and like what are you doing you know in terms of bang for your buck in terms of like strengthening growing nourishing ingredients so above just moisture in terms of those extra special ingredients i think curls and potions is the brand really then we have this black curl magic medium hole custard i love trying new gels i love trying new products on the whole i really can't go crazy on rice water just because you all know the video me and rice water i can't overdo it so i'm not going to be using curls and potions all for like a month straight but i think every three months or something i can do a little curls and potions wash day and pretty much get a little rice water treatment in so i will try to spread it out but i'm hoping that this does good things for me and last but not least, we have Honey's Handmade. You guys, I know myself, and I'm not gonna pretend to be somebody I'm not. So I was like, I'm gonna lose my mind and buy Honey's Handmade. So said, so done, here we are. And I can't even say I regret it, just because it was so much fun. Her sale was great as usual. The ingredients look like fun. 
and I'm looking forward to trying these again. So yeah, you will see another video on Honey's Handmade. Hopefully a positive and happy one. Wish me luck. We'll see. So I didn't get any cleansers with Honey's Handmade just because her cleansers don't really look cleansing. <laughs> I need like shampoo, real shampoo, or at least give me some clay, at least give me some soap nuts, at least give me something. Her cleansers didn't really look like cleansers to me. They look more on the co-wash or even conditioner levels. But if you guys use any of her cleansers, definitely let me know which ones are the real shampoo shampoos, which ones will really cleanse your scalp and everything. And what your experience has been with her cleansers, definitely let me know. I'm here to discover. And you guys are just a wealth of information as well. So if I'm missing out, let me know. For Honey's Handmade, I tend to stick to masks and leave-ins and custards but I'm like even the custards I'm a little cautious these days let me just start with the mask I guess I got the alfalfa and green tea babasu growth enriched hair mask so I always tend to shy away from these like vegetable products because it's like mm -hmm. I'm like a fruit girl I guess but I was curious so I was like okay let me try some kind of vegetable product and see what it does for me so it has like celery and stuff in there <laughs> so that's gonna be interesting I gave us there for moisture. Green tea, I like green tea in my products. Just like I said, it helps to reduce shedding and stuff. I have thick hair, so any reduction of shedding is just easier detangling time. And I guess same story with the Melba's Mixed Greens Deep Conditioner. I was like, let me try these vegetables and see what they do for me. This one has like spinach, broccoli, and kale, if you please. So again, interesting, <laughs> interesting. Wish me luck on this one. I don't really see like the BTMS or set lacquer or what, but hopefully it's in there somewhere. I do see some mango butter in there, so that could maybe do something. And hey, maybe spinach has slip, I guess. We'll see. We'll see how this works out. It does have some neem as well. After that, it's kind of going back to the regular. I got the peppermint deep treatment hair mask. And I guess I was just in the holiday spirit and I was thinking candy canes and like, I hope it smells like candy cane. But I mean, you can't really go wrong with a nice hair mask either. There isn't that much to it really besides like the peppermint and the honey quart. But I'm hoping for the best and I'm hoping that it's like a fun sensory experience basically. I'm starting to feel like I bought a lot but it doesn't look like a lot a lot because remember like I only buy once a year so it's not too bad. Yeah? <laughs> Anyways let's keep going. The Chibian Almond Milk Cocoa Mask. She really kind of understates her ingredients. She just I like, think lists key ingredients as my personal thought but this is what she has in here. The Camu Camu Olive and Honey Caribbean Coconut Deep Conditioning Mask. Which is just like her typical, okay, like some kind of conditioner, I have honey, I'm gonna give it a try. Yeah, that was this. Finally, finally, on to like the last bit, which is just the Honey's Handmade Leave-Ins. Banana Dream Leave-In Styler. So I think this is for the kids line or something, but like it had nice ingredients, so excuse me, excuse you. I'm gonna be trying with the kiddies today. Like I'm not ashamed to buy kids line stuff in anything. In fact, kids line stuff tends to be better a lot of the time. I just like the whole like Neapolitan collection and Banana Dream Leave-In. Just sounds like it would smell divine. <laughs> so I was like, hmm, okay, let me try this. Something that smells like banana sounds really good right now. And it actually has banana in it and I know my hair loves plantain. So I figured it probably loves banana too. So I'm looking forward to trying this. I think it's going to be like really moisturizing and defining and reduce frizz and all that. Like I'm expecting good things from this leave-in just with the banana. <laughs> And then I got this honey mustard curl cream leave-in. I think it's just like the name honey mustard in the shape of the bottle was just too cute and just like took me out, take my money. But I do think it has good ingredients as well. <laughs> some kind of fancy Hawaiian organic kiawe white honey which is interesting and mustard seed which is good and then like passion fruit and stuff maybe between the two of these I'll even find a honey's handmade HG leave-in you never know this could be the one this could be the year I have to approach things positively right every year I'm like yeah new HGs this year and everything so we'll see and last but not least this yucca mango honey growth thickening hair lotion I think I bought a, like a yucca growth thickening hair lotion from her before which worked out fine. I'm not sure if this is exactly the same or not because she'll have like three or four things in the name be the same and then the rest be different and you're like is it the same product? I don't know. But the ingredients look nice. 
the texture looks nice and it looks like it'll be a good time so that was it that was like my black friday haul part one i still have like a lot of products that are not here that i have to review as well so just look out for a lot of great product reviews coming up in 2021 people are saying we're scared i'm not scared 2021 is going to be my year it's going to be your year happy new year in advance although i might say that again a couple of times because i do have another few videos i want to do before the end of the year but i want to tell you guys now happy holidays happy new year love you guys and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching. Bye.